Warning, the video you're about to watch is extremely loud and chaotic. <laughs> My entire office was destroyed in the making of this film. Awesome. Everybody, say hello. Hello. Hi, Internet. I am here with my nephews and my niece Sophie, and we got a new box from Bone Clones. So as you can see, I have a little collection of Bone Clone skulls behind me, and we're gonna open up a new one. And Sophie is a little bit, are you, you feel scared of it? She's a little bit scared because of what it is. It's not a dog. So she's gonna go be with her dad for a minute while we open this. But um, who wants to cut open the box? I don't want to accidentally I don't want to. You don't want? I don't okay, want to. You want? Okay. The adult uses the scissors, I guess. That's usually the rule. That's the rule. Okay. All right, so. Let's whoa. show. Let's show the world. What do we got? We got a bunch of styrofoam. Mm. That, 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 that's great. Okay, come on, guys. Dig into it. It's Christmas. What do we got? Yeah, right. It's not even. This, if you look on the video, this is just. Ah, come on, do we make a mess of this place? Who cares? Who cares if we make a mess? All right. Huh? You can always clean up later. Yeah. Oh Wait. My. Let's open this puppy up. Let's open this one. Now it's this like, one. It's like Christmas, huh, Sophie? Although it's a bit of extra free. Are you sure you don't want to help us open the box? Oh! This one actually... <laughs> This one I want to open up a second because this is the extra surprise skull. Right? Gotcha. I'll use this so, one for this. You got it. It's safe. You can just, you're not going to ruin it. It may take a little while, but okay. Ooh. Ten year olds and scissors. Here we go. Probably isn't a good match. I should be wearing safety goggles. Yeah, like a real scientist. All right, here it is. Here's the moment. Jackson's gonna open up the first skull. What could it be? What the heck? Wait, is this Yeah. T-shirt. Wait, that's it's not a t-shirt. That's a skull bag. From bone clones. But what's inside the skull bag? Uh-oh. Here we go. Find the skull. And oh, it's heavy. Maybe there it is. Whoa. Bit creepy, but it's a human skull. Show it to the camera. Look at that. That is a human skull. Wow. Let's open it out of the plastic. I like it. It's not scary. Come here, Sophie. You wanna see it? I love the mouthpiece opens up. Whoa. This. Uh oh. Oh uh oh. Oh boy. Look at that, Sophie. Come yeah. here. Come, kind of scared come sit with Jackson. Jackson, this? let me see those scissors, dude. Who wants to see me open these? That is a human skull from Bone Clones. A replica, mind you. How would they be able to make a bones. replica of a skull? Look at that amazing Wait, head. That, Do you want to hold that. it, Sophie? I mean, John, is it a clone uh, of a Hold the bone? bottom jaw. Actually, here. Let's just have you hold the top part. <laughs> oh, this is a jaw. Sophie, <laughs> Sophie, go in front of the camera and show them the skull. Boy. Look what Sophie found. Job. All right. Good work. Hey, John. See, John, it's not John. scary. John. It's a skull, just like Who my skull. Who wants to see me bust these all at once? <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I like that. Came in a nice little little bone clones bag. It's a free bag. I I one I have been. Skull just like mine. <laughs> Is it bigger than your head? Yeah, probably. Yeah, a little bit bigger. I can never remember. Yeah. Cool. We're opening skull number two. Here we go. Ah. Yeah. Ooh, put this up on display. Oh, now this is slightly like larger, way. but that doesn't mean it's like this. It's a touchy little Sophie, Sophie look, we're, we're opening it. This one has special to ease to it. And it is another... Oh, it's one of these mind shifter schools. Mind so this skull. one is much different. People say that there's these were alien heads. <laughs> yeah, they do say that, huh? Yeah. Let's let's open it up. And we'll have to check it out. Ah! Oh, this jaw fell off. It's like ah, you're exploding. 
This is a Peruvian elongated skull. Wow. Look how beautiful that is. Wait, that's a elongated? Yes. What happened? What leaves? So, what most people believe is that these were elongated through cranial binding. It's where you put cords around the head as, as a baby's growing, mm -hmm. and their head gets long. But there are people on the internet that think that this is an alien. And there's other people on the internet that think that this is a, um, an angel-human hybrid. So what we're going to do, Jackson, is we are going to measure the volume of these skulls because on the internet people say that these skulls are 25% larger than normal skulls. All right, um, there's one more skull that I have that you guys could open. Can I open it? Yeah. <laughs> Let's um, get out of this. I've actually opened it already, but you guys haven't seen it yet. Sophie, we have a third skull that you're gonna open. It's already open though. What is it? So, so uh, what is that? <laughs> it is the creepiest thing I own. <laughs> this is a full term baby. Oh. And the reason that we have this is to compare these sutures <laughs> in the skull. Because the sutures uh, end up fusing together to make a, an adult skull. And we're going to study that. Jackson and I are going to study how that happens. Speaking of And which, we're going to talk about that because this skull is very different than this one in that it's missing a suture in the back. This suture right here. But both of them are missing the suture in the front. That suture right there. Because the, that suture goes away when a baby gets older. So, so good work, Sophie. Is that a real baby skull? It's a real model of a baby skull. Okay. So it was, it was a, they took a real baby skull, they made a cast out of it, and then they filled that cast with plastic. It's in this look with this. Both of these skulls were made by Bone Clones, and you can order them yourself. If you like my videos and want to help support me, you can use the link in the video description to buy them because uh, they kick me back like, I don't know, five bucks or so every time someone buys one. But Bone Clones is really an amazing company. They take actual skulls and they use them to make molds. This is top of the line. There is not another company that makes better replicas of skulls than they do. And the specimen that they used is one of the most extreme specimens in existence. This specimen is literally the skull that people like Brian Forster put on the covers of their books because this is one of the most extreme specimens in existence. All right, well, it seems like attention is waning, so we'll wrap up this episode of Stated Casually. So long for now. Everybody, come say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Internet. Stay curious. <laughs> All right. Good work.